Hello, in this Adobe Animate tutorial, I am going to show you uh, how to create the click event in uh, HTML5 Canvas. So here I am in the Adobe Animate. I have uh, some width and height. It doesn't matter right now. And I am going to choose HTML5 Canvas and I'm going to hit create. Okay, so uh, right now we are in the Adobe Animate. And what we want to do is go to the shape tool in here and create some kind of shape. And it doesn't matter the color. And if you have a stroke, go ahead and get rid of the stroke. We do not need it. And I'm going to hold the shift and create shape like this. All right. Uh, I will move this little bit to see my timeline. And uh, right now, what I want to do is convert this shape to the symbol, because if we want to use JavaScript or animate this, we need to have a symbol. So I will go to the modify, convert to symbol, and we want to have a movie clip and I can call this to be green ball, for example, and I'm going to hit OK. Uh, I can rename also my layer because right now this name, uh, it is going to be here in the library, green ball. And if you don't have library, go to the window and get the library. But uh, here you have a green ball, it is simple. Then in here, this is just the layer name. I can call this uh, just ball one, for example. But what is, what is important for the, for the JavaScript is if I click on the, on the green shape and I will go to the properties, you can see in here that it is movie clip and there is an instance name. And this is the name uh, by which we are going to address this with the JavaScript. So I can call this, for example, my green shape, for example, or ball, it doesn't matter. And I am actually going to copy this because we are going to uh, use this name later on. Now I am going to create a new layer. And on this new layer, we are going to write some code. So I'm going to right click and choose actions. Or you can see that the shortcut is F8, F9. So it doesn't matter which one you use, but I'm going to click. And a text editor like this is going to open somewhere. And here is the place where we can write the code. And right now, for example, what I can do is type this dot, the name that we created. So I'm going to paste it, my green shape. And I can type something like visible is going to be false. And don't worry, I'm going to provide this uh, code in the description. And maybe I'm going to provide the whole animate file. So if I type this, my green shape visible is false. And if I write everything correctly, because sometimes I type the visible wrongly, and I'm going to hit control enter. We are going to get a uh, empty browser because, because this shape is going to be invisible. If I go ahead and hit slash slash, this means that it is going to comment out this code. So it's like there is nothing in here. And I'm going to hit control enter you can see that right now we can see the shape. All right, so uh, with the line like this, you can go ahead and hide some shape or image or whatever. Uh, one thing uh, which is like, which has nothing to do with code, I'm going to click anywhere in here and the stage, I am going to change the color. So maybe something, I will click in here on this uh, color wheel and I'm going to choose some kind of tint of some color. So if I hit Control enter, I can see borders of my canvas. Okay, this is just something that I like to do. All right, uh, now I'm going to show you uh, how you can create a click event to, to hide the, the shape. And actually I will change the stage to something a little bit different. So we can see the, the green ball a little bit better, maybe something like this. Okay, so I'm going to uh, right click and choose actions or go with F9 inside the code. And uh, now I'm going to create this uh, event for the click. So I'm going to type this, again, the name of the, of the shape, so green shape. Then I'm going to type add the uh, capital E event and capital L listener. 
And if you have any experience with uh, JavaScript or HTML and C CSS, uh, maybe this is going to be familiar for you. So this migraine shape, add even listener. And then uh, we are going to type in here what type of uh, even listener we want. So we want to click event and it has to be uh, in these apostrophes or I don't know how to call them. And then comma and name of the function that we are going to be calling. So I can uh, just type uh, hide the shape for example. All right. And now th this is, uh, this means that uh, this green shape is going to have some listener. And if I click on that shape, it is going to call some kind of function. And right now we have to create the function. So I'm going to type function like this and the name of the function. This is something that I want to copy because I don't want to or write it incorrectly. So function hide the shape and this name is arbitrary. You can do whatever you want like this. Then the parentheses, I think that they are called parentheses. This one, this curved uh, ones. Okay. And now in the, in the function, I am going to copy this. So control X to cut it and I'm going to paste it in here. Okay. And right now we are almost done, but there is uh, one little issue and that is, uh, uh, I do not want to make this uh, like complex or complicated, but if we are outside of, outside of the function, we are going to be using this. And this means like the whole animate canvas or whatever. But if we are inside of the function, we cannot use this but we will have to create some kind of variable. So I'm going to call var, for example, root or this like this, it, it doesn't matter. And it is going to e be equal to this. All right. And this is just uh, some kind of variable. And inside of the function, we will have to use this name. If I call this root inside here, I will have to be using root and outside uh, when we are not in the function, we are going to be normally using this. Okay. So I will hit control enter. And right now, if we typed everything correctly, if I click on the shape, it is going to disappear. Fine. Uh, I will just show you that if I hit uh, one more O in here, so root, so I just uh, typed it incorrectly. I am going to hit control enter. And if I click, nothing is going to happen. Okay. And if I hit F12 or right click and inspect, uh, in the console, you are going to have some kind of error, but this is a little bit more advanced. But, uh, the thing is that if you type something incorrectly, it is not going to be working. So be very careful to write everything correctly, but we have something like this. One thing that I want to say is I'm going to, uh, comment out this variable, this var root is equal to this. And there is an option uh, to use some kind of bind method. So if I have this even listener and after the, you have click event, then you have the name of the function and we can type dot bind, it's just some kind of method. And I am going to type this in here. This means that right now I do not need to use this kind of variable, but I can go ahead and use this also inside of the function. So there are these two ways. One of the way is uh, create this without this bind and this. And in that case, you will have to use variable to go inside to use this inside of the function, or you can use something like this. And in that case, you can uh, use this inside of the function without any issue. I'm going to hit control enter and show you that indeed it is going to be working. All right. So, but I think that, uh, I can go and get rid of this for now. I just wanted to show you for some of you, and I'm going to be using, 
uh, this because maybe it is a little bit more simpler and it's hard for me to explain this bind method right now for complete beginners but yeah we have something like this uh, what we can do is go ahead and create one more shape and we can we can stay on this ball one layer but make sure that you are not going to be on this layer too I will actually call this to be code. So I will go to the ball one and I'm going to create, uh, for example, the blue shape. So I'm going to uh, do something like this. Again, I will have to convert this to the symbol. So modify, convert to, to symbol or F8. And I can call this to be blue shape or blue ball, whatever, all right. So I will go to the library and you can see that we have green ball and you have blue shape. And uh, I will click on the, on the blue shape and I'm going to create an instance name. And what I can do is click on the green one, copy this, paste this in here and just change the name from green to blue shape. Okay, and make sure that you have this correctly, my blue shape. All right, I can copy this, control C. I can go to my code. Right now I'm going to use F9 to open it. You can right click and choose actions at the bottom. And what I can do, for example, is change this, my green shape. I am going to paste this for my blue shape. And right now it is going to, uh, it means that if I click on the green shape, my blue shape is going to disappear. So control enter. And if I click here, the blue shape, dis blue shape disappeared. All right. Uh, we can also do uh, something like this. I'm going to hit control D or you can just copy this and paste it at the bottom. But control D is going to copy the whole, whole line. And I can uh, change this to my green shape. And in this case, this means that if I click, click on the green shape, my blue shape and my green, sh green shape are going to disappear. And it, this order doesn't mean they are going to disappear at the same time. So control enter, and I'm going to click this one and both of them are going to disappear. All right, fine. Uh, one last thing that we are going to do is we are going to create one more shape. This is going to be a red shape, for example, something like this. And I can do something silly like this if I want. All right. And I'm going to, and I made a little mistake because I created this inside of the code. So I'm going to actually delete this and I will go to the ball one layer. And this should be code with E at the end. But I'm going to go to this ball one layer and create the shape one more time. Oh, nothing would happen. Probably if you create it on the code, but it's like it can happen. So yeah, I am going to do something like this. Okay, I am going to click on this one, F8 to convert to, to symbol. This is going to be red shape. Okay, I will click on the blue one. I am going to copy this instance name, paste it in here, like so, change this to change this to red, red shape. I'm going to copy this, right click, actions, go inside. And now I can, what I can do is, uh, I'm going to get rid of this, like so. So right now I have my green shape. If I click on the green shape, blue shape is going to disappear. I'm going to copy all of this. I'm going to paste it in here. This space, it doesn't matter. You can have as much space as you want. And actually you can have as much space anywhere. This space doesn't do anything. And now we are going to uh, change this from uh, green shape to a red shape. So what I want to do is if I click on the green shape, the blue is going to disappear. And if I, if I click on the red shape, it is going to appear back. All right. Uh, or we can do it like so. We can uh, my 
blue shape and we can uh, make this red mouth disappear and appear. So one of them is going to be this green shape, even listener. The second one is going to be this blue shape, even listener. And I am going to change the function name because we cannot have the, the same function name in here and here. So this is going to be show the shape like so. And I will also have to change this name, show the shape. And basically we have this even listener with name of the function and it is new function. And here is the name of the, here, here is the actual function. And actually we are going to change this blue to red and we are going to make this to be true. And I will copy this control C paste it in here, this whole line, and this is going to be false. So one more time, uh, this green shape, this one has even listener for click, and it is going to call the function hide the shape. Here is the function hide the shape, and this hide the shape function is going to do that it is going to make the red shape, this one visible false. And then we have, I'm going to move this a little bit. We have my blue shape, even listener with click. And there is the show the shape. We have the function show the shape. And there is uh, this red shape visible is going to be true. So if I write everything correctly and I'm going to hit control enter, if I click this one, it is going to hide the shape. If I click this one, it is going to show the shape. If I click uh, at the beginning on the blue one, nothing is going to happen. But if I click on the green and then on the blue, you can do something like this. All right, fine. Uh, the last thing that I can do is uh, show you how to save the project and how to export this uh, HTML and JS. So I'm going to hit Ctrl S and I'm going to save this somewhere. So I will cut it. All right, so I have created uh, some kind of folder, click event. And here I'm going to save this. So click, for example, or click event and hit save. This is going to save my animate file. And then I'm going to go to the file, publish settings. I'm going to click this folder. I'm going to get to my destination. So one more time, I'm going to cut this. So here I am. And right now I'm in the folder where I have my animate file. We do not see it because uh, we had this JS, so we would only see the JS files in here. But here is the place where is my the animate file. I am going to create new folder. I can call this to be index. I will go inside. I would also call this index. This is arbitrary, but uh, this is something that I prefer to do. Save, OK, file, publish. All right, and right now in here, in the index, I'm going to have HTML5 file and JavaScript file. I'm going to open this and it is going to be working. Uh, sometimes if we are going to be working with the maybe a little more complicated shapes or with the images, it can happen that in the animate it is going to be working and in the browser like this, it is not going to be working. There is sometimes there is going to be this error uh, about cross domain images. But all of that means is that uh, if you if you put it live on the website, it is going to be working with any or without any issue. But sometimes if you don't have it live on the real website and only on your PC, uh, there may be some kind of issue. So just um, something like that can happen, but that's not the real at all. Okay, so thank you very much for watching and uh, hopefully I'm going to see you in the next video. Uh, right now I'm going to create create a very similar video but with the mouse over because there is one more thing that we will have to do for mouse over. Thank you. Goodbye.